Good morning, I'm Mike, and right now I am uploading uh, our very first ranch vlog video. We're gonna see how it goes. I am so nervous. All right, what do you say we go and feed the cows? All right, let's talk about this daily vlog thing really quick. Uh, if you're only used to watching our videos or you only watch our videos because of the educational component or the, the high quality uh, standard of video that I like to put out, this may not be the month for you to watch our channel. Then again, it may grow on you because I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, a regular video that I put out during the week, Tuesday or Friday, can take anywhere from eight to 12 hours to produce, to edit and make sure that it's exactly the way that I want it when it goes out. Obviously, I don't have that much time every single day. So what you're gonna see here for the next month as we continue on with the ranch vlog is more of a run and gun style of, uh, of videoing and editing. I'm gonna go in at night. Uh, I'm gonna download all of the footage from the day that I've taken then uh, edit after the kids go to bed. So I only have a few hours to edit at night. I want to still get some sleep and I still want to have a, a somewhat of a life. So the big thing is though that these videos will take you more behind the scenes than you ever have been before on the ranch. You're going to see the day-to-day -day operations, things that happen around here that maybe never would have ever made it into a video because they don't have that huge educational component to them. And maybe it's just as simple as, as going out and checking cows or changing batteries or doing something goofy, but that's part of our life and that's what we have to do too. Our biggest goal is to be able to bring you content every single day. And in order to do that, we have to change what we do and how we do it. But I still wanna make sure that I put out a quality uh, product for you guys to watch and uh, use just to escape the ordinary just a little bit. All right, I'm over here in the farmhouse, and if you're not familiar with it, this is our Airbnb here on the ranch. Now, we just opened it up this month. Talk about horrible, horrible timing. Nobody wants to travel, nobody wants to do anything. But we have not had a single person come and stay in this house. This house, uh, we remodeled from basically the, 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 uh, the floor all the way to the ceiling. And obviously, we put a lot of money into it. So. One of the things that really kind of got us down and out about this whole coronavirus and the COVID-19 scare and all this kind of stuff is the fact that nobody is traveling. Nobody has been here to rent the house. 
all that changed yesterday uh, when I got an email from somebody who wants to stay in the house just for two days, but it does get some income coming in from this place. Might pay the power bill, who knows? But they are uh, coming down from Alaska and their son, he got a job here in Gillette, so they're down here house hunting for him. So they are gonna be staying here. They arrive tomorrow. So I have basically today to get the rest of the house ready to go. There's quite a few things that we kind of just like left off and we decided that we weren't going to do until we get um, a renter or a, at least a, a you know somebody that's going to visit with Airbnb. So we left those things off till the end. So I've been working on my list here. I've got towels, um, dishcloths, kitchen towels. I've got to put mattress pads on the bed. Um, First aid kits, smoke detectors need to go in, carbon monoxide detectors, fire extinguishers, silverware, uh, pots and pans, some cooking stuff, a knife set, uh, some water, uh, because you can't, the water here is really, really hard water, so you probably don't want to drink it, but um, you can still bathe it in and all that kind of stuff. We need pillows, uh, some other stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to run to town, we're going to fill this list, we're going to bring it all back here and get this place set up for these folks that are going to be here tomorrow to stay here on the ranch for a couple days and be our very first guests here in the farmhouse. We got our windows down Driving on the 405 Sing along to the radio mm -mm. We're gonna make it someday Nothing's gonna get in our way We will be the biggest band in town You know how they're always doing those crazy studies and, you know, they spend millions of dollars on them and, and you don't even sure, you're not even sure what the, the whole point was. I have a brand new one and I think this could be worth at least a couple million dollars of wasted money. I think that during a situation like this with the COVID-19 virus running around, everybody's a little bit scared, everybody's a little bit worried, they're still out moving, everybody's still out doing everything that they're, you're supposed to be staying at home, me included, I know, and, uh, but I have noticed that people are using their turn signals a lot more than I've ever seen them use them in the past. Maybe that's a, a, a courtesy that comes from uh, being scared half to death, who knows. I'm gonna quit my job. Never wanna have no boss. I just wanna play my rock and roll like they do on the okay. radio. Okay, it's been two days since the governor shut down the state. Uh, I, coming into town, obviously, I could see that bars are closed and, and restaurants are closed, but pretty much everything else looks like it's open. I drove by a flower shop that was open. Uh, there was a computer store that was open. So obviously, um, some of those necessities are, are exactly just that, necessities. Uh, good old Menards is still open, and it doesn't look like they're limiting the number of people that can go in or, or anything like that. So we're going to go in, we're going to start filling our list here, and, uh, and hopefully we can find most of what we need. Uh, right here at Menards. Also, uh, just keep reminding myself, don't touch your face. Oh, and I'm pretty sure I only touched my face like three times. We're taking our shot, bring what you got. We're going all the way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage. We're playing loud, surfing the crowd. Everybody's jumping around. Yeah, that's the place where I want to be. Going on stage headlines.
what do you think? Is it ready for uh, somebody to come stay in here? Yeah. 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 We just need to put beware of the bulls sign. Yeah, we need to put up the uh, beware of the bulls. Our bulls do not have horns. Our bulls do not have horns, but they have credit cards and they may charge. Tonight, we're gonna go put the peacocks in. But it looks like they did it themselves. Good night, Aquaman and friends.